Yo, what's up, YouTube? DJ Lifestyle back with another banger. Um, it's a different type of video. It's a video um about me getting expelled for the first time and getting suspended and shit. Like the shit that I'm about to talk about, all this happened in like one year. You feel me? So like, this not the first time I got suspended, but I'm talking about this suspension too because it was a part of the exp uh, the expulsion you feel me but um like comment subscribe turn on post notifications don't skip no ads and go run up them last videos i post and also your boy is getting two videos today so please be aware of that and um and fuck with that shit but um i'm here today to speak about uh the first time i got expelled um where do i want to start Okay, so one day, it's high school. I'm in 11th grade. And it was my junior year. I was in 11th grade. So one year, my 11th grade year, I think it was like 2019, my 11th grade year. So I went to school one day. The first day of school now, I went to school the first day. I was high as a bitch. I ain't go cap. I, I had smoked like, me and my peoples had smoked like, a couple blunts before we went to school and shit. Cause that was like a daily, you feel me? So we did, I was high up smoking and shit before school and shit. So me and my peoples went in the in the um lunchroom for breakfast and shit to go get breakfast and shit. So I guess the resource officer was in the in the, um in there too. He was in there too. So when he been in there, we walked past, but we didn't know we had smell like marijuana because we we was the one smoking, so like we couldn't smell it or nothing. So so we walk in the um in the in the cafeteria, shit like that, go in the line and get our food and shit. So we get our food and everything, get our food, everything, eat and shit. So I see the resource officer looking at looking at us, so I'm like already know it and shit, like, oh shit, this man looking at us like what the fuck going on with the whoop. Cause I just like I see, I didn't smell no weed, none of that. You feel me? Cause I'm the one smoking, so of course I ain't gonna smell it. But um, but um, what I'm about to say, my fault. I had to look at a message just now. But um, so I've been like, what, what, what he looking at and shit like that. So when I saw him, kept looking. I hauled ass straight to class. Boom. I've been in class first. I've been the first one in class. I ain't even, never first one in class. You feel me? Never been the first one in class and shit like that. So I never be the first one in class. So it's like it's odd that I'm in class ten minutes early and shit like that. To just get away from the resource officer. So fuck around. I had pass out in class, fall asleep. I ain't did shit now. I ain't did shit my first day. So I pass out in the chair, went to sleep. Like not pass out, pass out, but you know, pass out went to sleep type shit. So I pass out went to sleep, shit like that. And, um, hold on. And, oh, yeah, and fuck around. I pass out, went to sleep, shit like that. So, like, I get, I don't know how long I've been sleeping and none of that shit like that. But all I felt was a tap on my back and been like, and I heard a voice say, Devonta Gradine, come with me. So I turned around. It was the resource officer. So I'm like, damn, this nigga really found me and shit like that. You feel me? Then fuck around. We walking back to his, um, his um and his fucking office and shit like that. They got a hole in cell in that bitch. Just like jail now. Them boy got a hole in cell in that bitch. Them boy had me um butt naked. Them boy uh them boy did the little um test on me like with my eyes and shit. No, let me, let me not get to that point yet. But them boy had me in the hole in cell. Them boy searched me all that to see if I had weed and shit. Cause I they say I smell like a pound. That's what they say. I smell like a pound. So. They had me, um, they searched me, and the boy had me in my drawers and socks. I only been in boxes and socks, bro. I had no shirt on, no pants on, none of that. So I just in the whole cell, just sitting down, shit like that, with no pants on, no boxes. I mean, with boxes on, but no pants on, no shirt, none of that. So, like, it was weird. It was cool as hell. I'm like, damn, I'm in school like this. Like, 
it's weird. Like, I mean, out of my body type shit. You feel me? Not normal type shit. But fuck around. Them boy damn coming in. Boom. More, more police. And like the um principal came in there and shit like that. And them boy came asked me to um to test me and shit. Like with the little pen. Like them boy had like a pen with a light on it. So them boy had a pen with a light. And them boy been just coming by my eye and shit to see if I was high and shit. And I be like... And I just confess, I was like, I ain't gonna cap to you. I ain't even like, them boy kept doing it. So I'm not about to sit here and try to fake like I'm not high as hell. So like, I was like, I ain't gonna cap, I am high. Like when them boy been doing it, I, I was like, I ain't gonna cap, I am high. And I tell them that. So they be like, um, I tell them I was high and shit. So the boy called my mama and shit, tell her I was um intoxicated with marijuana and shit like that, shit like that. Um. Yeah, they call my mama, tell her and shit like that, that she had to come get me. Or oh, them boy been sending me down to, um, to the jailhouse in the holding cell till she can come get me. You feel me? So if she was at work that day, I would have been in the holding cell till she got off. You feel me? But she wasn't at work, so she came to get me. So I didn't go in the holding cell, but I was in the holding cell at school. You feel me? But if she didn't came, I would have been in the holding cell at jail. You feel me? But they suspend me for one week so i came back that following week that monday because just like i tell you i got suspended on the first day of school and it was a monday you feel me so i got suspended they suspend me for five days so that's a whole week you feel me them boys suspend me for the whole first week boom so for the whole first week they suspend me and shit like that then i came back to school that following monday then the same teacher bro look now I already got done with the um expulsion part. That was, I mean, that was the suspended part. You feel me? When I just tell you, that was the suspended part. But when I came back to school that following Monday, the same teacher, the resource officer, came to get me um out of classroom. Hold on, let me sidetrack. My fault, y'all boy. Uh, I guess everybody been seeing the teacher tell and be like um. He the one that called the resource officer and said I had the um the classroom stink and shit like that. So that's how the resource officer found me that she had to click back. But um also when I came back the following Monday, the man, the teacher that called the um resource officer on me, tell him that I was um smelling like weed and shit. So the week later I came back, me and this boy got into an argument and shit like that. Me and this boy got into an argument and shit like that. Dude ain't have one bam. You could have tell he ain't have one fight because like how he was just talking, like already been like shit, what are you trying to do type shit like woot whoop. You feel me? No cap. I mean like woot whoop, what you trying to, what you trying to do, you feel me? He ain't been on shit, so he just kept talking like he hard and shit. So fuck around the um teacher came by us and be like, please calm down and shit like that for we have y'all removed and all that other police ass shit. So bruh just still talking, so you know me. I ain't gonna shut up because I ain't no nigga about to sit here and keep talking shit and keep acting like they gangster and shit and know they not, you feel me? So, like, I just been like, so I just pull up on bro. I been like, shit, what you trying to do? Bro, I ain't having a fight or none of that. So the police, I mean, so the, so, the, so the teacher came in between us and been like, calm that down, calm that down and shit. Been like, calm that down and shit like that. So he fuck around and say, calm that shit down and shit like that. So I guess bruh be like, I'll beat your ass too type shit. You feel me? He tell it, teacher, I'll, I'll beat your ass too type shit. So them boy, damn, um, so after he tell him that, um, after he tell him that, t you already know the teacher damn went go get the, um, call the principal, the resource officer and shit like that. Say he got threatened by two students and shit like that. How you get threatened by two students if I never say nothing to you? You feel me? Only been talking to this man. I never say I would have beat your ass, but I can. You feel me? I never say I will. I never say I I would have beat his ass up that day. You feel me? I would just, I was telling the person who I was fussing with, oh, I been going to beat their ass. I never was saying shit to him. So when dude been like, he'll beat. So when dude came out the blue and said, oh, I'll beat your ass, he been talking to the I guess he was talking to the teacher, so bro went go call the resource officer and the principal and shit. So we all know how that go. They come get us out of class. We in the office and shit. The boy like, what's going on? I ain't got shit to say. You feel me? I ain't got shit to say. 
So fuck around, they suspend me again and been like, um, since I got suspended again, them boy had put me up for the expulsion. So them boy had me like in the office, like in the front office, it's like it's a board. It's a it's a board. So them boy like it's a board. So it's like them boy came, um, them boy had my name on the board. Like when you get expelled or about to get expelled, they put your name on the board and like red capitals and shit like that. And um I had to do all that shit. I had to come to school one day for like a meeting with the principals and shit with my mama and all type of shit. And then also after that, them boy had me going to the, the school board and hearing and shit like that. Cause when you get expelled, you got to go to the school board and hearing and all type of shit in front of like all the big people who over the schools or who over that county and shit like that. So I had to talk to them boy and shit like that. I thought I'd been in jail, my nigga, cause how them boy was, but um, shit like that. But also, them boy expelled me for a whole year. Them boy been like, they couldn't um, let me go to alternative school or uh, couldn't go to alternative school or couldn't go back to regular school or none of that. Because them boy been like, my history and like what I did already, I got it in less than two, like two weeks in school. Man. Like less than two weeks in school, I already got suspended two times. So it's like, yeah, why we need you in our school type shit. So I'm like, damn, them boy really expelled me for the whole school and shit like that. So after that, I had to get a job and shit like that. Then the next year, them boy um, put me back in school. Them boy boosted me up to 12th grade because I had all my credits. So if I had get expelled my 11th grade year, I would have graduated my 12th grade year in December. You feel me? But them boy put me back in school my 12th grade year, boosted me up and shit like that. So they boosted me up, shit like that. And, um... They boost me up, shit like that, because all my credits, shit like that. Then them boy had me going out um alternative school for the first semester, shit like that. So I had to go there for the first semester, shit like that. Ain't been too bad, none of that. I just ain't had light wearing no uniform and shit like that. But yeah, that this the reason why I got expelled, and this the reason why I got suspended. I mean, this the reason why I really got expelled. You feel me? So all this in one video. So um, I hope y'all like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And you know I got to wrap this video up, man. And um, I hope y'all like this video. Don't skip no ads. And just like I say in every other video, I love y'all. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. And DJ Lifestyle is out. Peace.